there are these moments um, that I spend with people that I walk beside who are struggling with addiction um, where I think to myself, I wonder if your mom knows that you are safe in this moment, that there is a blanket around you and I'm sitting next to you and you're eating a taco and, <laughs> you know, and, and this day, on this day, you are safe. I wonder who's at home thinking about you and worrying about you and and crying because they don't know how you are. Um, I wonder somewhere along the line, how did you become disconnected from your friends? The people that you used to go to school with or the people that used to be your sports instructors and all of the people in your life that were your connectors to your life. Where, where did they go and when did that all happen? Um, and then I think to myself, you know, maybe the connection is the thing, right? Like an addict wants nothing more than to disconnect from people who don't can't help them with what they need. I understand that. Um, but I think that strengthening connection, and I'm not blaming anybody, I am saying strengthening connection seems to be, from what I've seen, a very important part of people, people feeling connected to the universe that's living, the one that's healthy and breathing, and there's green grass growing, and the sun is shining. Once you lose your connection to that place, um, it's very easy to slide into the dark. Um, and so I find myself really trying to support things like um, my grandchildren being connected to sport activities and, you know, community centers and, and things like that. I'm not saying that that's a foolproof method, but I do know that what I see over and over and over again with people who have shut themselves out, shut themselves down, can't seem to find their way back out of the darkness and can't seem to find their way back out of their addiction is that they've lost their connection to the things that are bright and beautiful. Um, so staying connected, I, it's everything. I think that's everything.